Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba. i got another quick scuba tip of the week. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, dive knives real quick or cutting um, utensils, whatever. Uh, say you got a large knife, maybe it's even a, a knife shear system like this XS Scuba here. Um, where should you carry and how should you carry these knives? Cool thing about these, they come with strap systems that you can wear on your leg or you can actually mount them to your BC in one uh, form or the other. If you do wear it on your leg, a couple things to think about is I tend to wear mine on the inside of my leg instead of the outside. It's a little easier to get to with both my hands, plus I don't have to worry about it getting entangled in whether plant line, fishing line, whatever I may come across. If it's on the outside, it's going to be more likely to get entangled than if it was on the inside of my leg. If you carry a smaller knife uh, and you attach it to your BCD or even if you attach it to your leg, wherever you attach your cutting utensil, you want to make sure that you can get to it with both hands. Maybe your right hand is holding something or it's entangled in fish line and you need to cut it out or whatnot, or it's entangled in a, a tree or whatever it may be under. Make sure if you mount it, say, to your BCD strap, you can get to it with either hand. Most BCD nowadays will have grommets where you can actually attach. Uh, a lot of knife systems will have where you can just screw straight into the, the grommets of the BCD. Make sure if you put it on your BCD, you get to it with either hand. If you put it on your leg, make sure you get to it with either hand. It makes it a lot more practical underwater and it makes, keeps you a lot safer as a diver. So guys, that's this week's scuba tip. Make sure to check back next week for a new one. Subscribe to us on YouTube. You'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Swing by Facebook, leave us a comment or concern or post pictures of your setup. Let us know what you think about these scuba tips, guys. If you, just like in previous videos, if you have a scuba tip that we've not featured, email us, send us a copy of it, whatever it is. We'll feature it on our channel. We'll give you credit for it. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.